Hello brothers, brothers, sisters, sisters, how are you doing? This is your boy Cookie with Sindakon, I'm back again. But before we start, if today is your first time watching, I welcome you on board. And can you subscribe to YouTube channel for more interesting video? So this is Konko, Konkore. Konkore. So it's like uh, Jolof. Yes. And then in the upper yes. East yes. region, Bolgatanka, the Frafra. This Frafra Jolof. Hey, Shegi. Today I'm in Bolga in the Upper East region and we are preparing one nice local traditional food called Kongore. Yeah. Oh, I should, but they say I should eat with my bare hand, bare fingers. But it's hot. This is proper millet food, uh, rough millet, pounded millet, not flour, rough millet. Kongore is a jollof food in Bolga. <laughs> yeah, fra fra jollof. <laughs> and it's made from millet. Very simple and easy cooking that doesn't require much time. And the ingredients are also very simple to find, even in abroad. They are millet, fish, meat, pepper, onion, spice, and some salt. So, starting this food, you have to chop your meat to the size that you want. And we are using guinea fowl for this preparation or this food with smoked catfish. Very big one. You can ignore the fish or meat if you are vegetarian or vegan. So after chopping the meat, you put them inside your pot on fire with a bit of water already in it. Then you break your fish into pieces and also removing all the bones from the fish because of children. You now add the fish to the meat, then you add onions to it. Please use chopping board or just be careful with the knife. <laughs> This food is a one pot food, so almost everything is being added together. We garnered our fresh pepper. You can also use powder pepper if you don't have the fresh one. Now we add our pepper to the meat uh, and the fish and also salt to taste. Then you cover it to boil. We make our first stir after 3 minutes and taste if the salt is okay. We stir it a bit then recover it to work again. Moving forward, we pound our African locust bean, locally known as Dawa Dawa, together with our dried smoked fish. Yeah, this serves as spices and it's mostly used in the northern parts of Ghana. We now add our pounded ingredient to the fish and meat on fire. Yeah, the basement, the foundation. <laughs> yeah, this looks like preparing soup. Yeah, it's called kungore. So kungore means the finishing soup. Yeah, that's that's the translation, the meaning of the language. Kungore. Yeah. So before we add our millet to it, we let it boil for five minutes. And before that, you have to check if the salt is okay because water has been added to it. Indeed, this food is rich and organic. Pure one. I really love this for language and how I wish I can speak and understand. <laughs> This is our millet that we'll be using and it's been crushed a bit. It's also called pie boiled millet, yeah? So you add water to soak it and uh, not to really soak it but to wet it, yeah? So now it's time to add our millet to the soup and there's a trick here. You don't just pour them in but rather roll the ladder a way that the millet will spread around. Doing this prevent the millet from stacking under the pot. 
and after adding all the millet to the soup you have to stir it until it starts to boil this also prevents the millet from stacking under a bit of raw mashed granite or peanut is also being made like a paste and added to it this will form this will give the, the thickness a bit of thickness and um, the, the 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 peanut taste of it right so this is the far fragile off with peanuts kind of flavor stuff <laughs> so after adding the peanut paste you have to stir it so it starts to boil because leaving it will, will, will bend your millet or the millet will stack under which is not advisable so you stir you stir you stir until it become a bit dense and you see that the, lock, the, the water has been reduced starting boiling before you stop so now you cover it for like five minutes five to seven minutes then that's it our nice far fragile love is ready yeah it is what it is <laughs> Yeah, so after serving, you place a bit of shea butter on top. You know, the nutmeg don't use much of fried or the artificial oil. They use the organic and the, the raw made um, oil, which is shea butter. So a bit of shea butter has been displayed on it. And uh, as you can see, one testing officer, I need to test it and see. Yeah, food from the upper side. Yeah, the fafra food. It is what it is. <laughs> so this is how it looks like, Kongore. It's like, basically, it's like jollof. You know, it's like jollof, but this far fried jollof, the northern jollof, the bolaga jollof. Okay, and uh, oh, I should, but they say I should eat with my bare hand, bare fingers, but it's hot, so you need to wait for it to cool down before you can you can dip in your fingers or your hand because it's hot in here. And uh, the pot itself is also clay, so it will take time before it gets cold, but. I need to try it. So 90% of the food over here are made with millet. Okay, 90% of the food has millet in it. Even if if it's not the main millet food, there's still has some millet to the food. So I can't even say it's like 95% of the food has millet in it but this is proper millet food uh, rough millet pounded millet not flour it's nice very oh, nice very oh, nice yeah you know concorre concorre a guy hey you ready you're gonna fall I cut my concorde. <clears throat> so basically, it's a millet food, and uh, yeah, like a soup form, and millet was added, and that's it. Like very nice food, nutritious, tastes good, tastes nice, fra fra food, balagatanga food. You need to try this. You need to visit this place. Like they have amazing, amazing food. Uh, like. It will amaze you, like it will wow you. The flies are crazy. Yeah, so if today's your first time watching, click on the red button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, Discovering Food, let's meet again, tell a friend and tell a brother, this cooking with Sindako. Yo, for shizzle, my nizzle. Yeah. Good morning, Bolivia. We are here today. And the family is here. Yeah, hey, Achepa. Oh, good morning. Morning. Wow. Ah, <laughs> Yeah, so it's about to go down. This is my for I know So, second day in Bolivia, and it's about to go down. Yeah. <laughs>